Is there a way for songwriters to get multiple income streams? Because most of them think I'm going to write this song and my band is going to use it, I'm going to use it as a solo artist. But there are other ways that it can be used, right? Absolutely. Uh, film and television placements are, are the obvious answer. And I think that it's kind of like a herd of buffalo running toward the horizon that all musicians, it seems, are now aware that there's this other way to make money with their music other than getting it on records or radio. Um, or, or internet playlists, of course. Um, what I don't think a lot of people realize is that they can get, kind of get the two for one deal. Uh, let's say that somebody writes a song that's a typical pop rock song uh, with a couple of guitars, maybe an acoustic, an electric, a, a bass, a, a drum set, um, a lead vocal, and some background vocals in a tambourine. <laughs> and uh, they've got their nice little pop rock song and uh, they would normally pitch that to labels or artists whatever i'll bet that it's never crossed their mind that by simply muting the vocals that they've now got an instrumental version of that mm -hmm. and so now it's got a life as possibly getting used instrumentally in the context of film film and tv they could also do cut downs of it where they just take the intro section which would normally just be instrumental anyway, um, and maybe edit that right to the chorus and then loop the chorus and then take, uh, after maybe 45 seconds of the looped chorus, take what used to be the bridge and put that in as a B section and then go back to the chorus loop again for the out. And so now they, they've created not only a full song version and a full song instrumental version structured or arranged as the original song was, but by editing it, they can create uh, more possibilities to get their music used because it takes on kind of a different life from that same piece of music. Here's something that I've never been able to find in any book. I don't think anybody teaches this in a class. It may be an observation that I made and it kind of stuck, but I don't know. I don't want to take credit for something that may be somebody else's. But the point is that when you take the lead vocal out of a song, it sounds like you've got a rhythm track. So yes, it's an instrumental, and yes, it may have a life in film and TV as an instrumental, um, but it will seem like it's lacking and almost sound like a, you know an engineer is sitting down to mix but hasn't popped in the vocal yet. So you need to have some sort of melody in the song, but if you try and take the full vocal melody and replace that with a guitar or a keyboard or a clarinet or whatever, it's going to end up sounding like um, 101 strings doing, uh, you know, Saturday Night Fever. Mm. Um, it sounds corny when you try and replicate the vocal melody on an instrument. So the thing that I think I invented, or at least annotated, was what I call melody light. Do something like take every third or fourth or fifth note of the melody and just bum, bum, mm. bum. And, and that gives it a sense of movement and melody, but without making it sound like you're covering a Beatles song, you know, yeah. with some sort of corny instrumentation. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Sorry, Kenny G.